All right, welcome back to Bloodstock 2017 and we're joined backstage from two of the guys from Infernal Sea. Hello, so, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, and um, you've played the uh, Sophie stage last night, which was the Thursday. Yes. Um, it's funny, like, everybody's been saying it's the busiest Thursday at Bloodstock they've ever seen, you know? It may well have been. It was a uh, very full for our performance, you know, out, outside the tent. It was, uh, yeah. It's the fullest I've seen it. Yeah. 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 And um, obviously you get a huge buzz out of that, don't you? Very much so, yeah. yeah. What sort of length set do you get to play at? Uh, uh, we got half an hour. Half an hour. Um, so it was good, just blasted for all our fast extreme numbers and just kind of give us sort of an oral assault on the crowd really. So, But they, they were you know, asking for more at the end of it, so that was pretty, pretty good. It was good. The crowd were up for it. Great. Yeah. And what, when you're tailoring a sort of festival slot, um, one, you go right shorter songs so we can pack as many in as yeah. possible. Is that sort of it, yeah, it, it's about uh, showcasing your material. So we've got quite a few releases behind us now, so we wanted to take something from most of them and just, just showcase what we're about so that the, anyone who doesn't know us will come in and they'll, you know, they'll get a feeling for what we are. So. And when did the band actually start then? What year? How long have you been together as a... Uh, seven years now, so seven. 2010 we started. Um, so yeah. yeah. And uh, Bloodstock before you played previously? We, we played New Blood Stage 2013. Uh, we were asked to play the... Uh, sorry, we were um, invited to headline the New Blood Stage back then, which was a great experience. Um, and then, yeah, invited again this year. So four years later we're back. <laughs> So what do you got sort of uh, material wise now and um, have we got anything coming out in we, the near future? We uh, just announced last week um, that we're doing something with uh, Apocalyptic Witchcraft, which is a small UK label. Um, and we are not going to say any, we're not going to say anything else about that. <laughs> but it's at a, at a, what is it, a well advanced stage, shall we say? Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's just um, we're kind of keeping it sort of Chest. Yeah, yeah, for now, you yeah. know, we'll feed information little as and snippets, when for it. Little snippets. Yeah, but we we're currently uh, working on the next album as well, so behind the scenes we're doing that. Brilliant. So Brilliant. pretty busy. Yeah. And direction-wise, is it uh, still more more or less the same? Yes, yeah, it's, it's the Infernal Sea is yeah. how we've these seven years we've worked ourselves up to really. So yeah, it's um, got quite a, a lot more of the rocky groove that we've got. Uh, but it's still gonna. It's still sounding hard. It's still sounding extreme. It still sounds like the Infernal Sea. So, <laughs> and is, is the sound you're at there? Was that how you envisaged it from the start, or was it a, a rolling thing? Yeah, it's from the start. We were slightly different, mm. and I think we found our feet. Uh, we released uh, an EP. Uh, after the first album, we found our feet then, and that's when we we discovered our sound. And then we've just been fine-tuning it ever since. So I feel with the Great Mortality album that came out in Cacophonous last year, um, we just that was our style, and we that's where we are. So yeah. I know you sort of prolific writers. Is there sort of loads of stuff in the can then? And there is. There's a. Uh folders and folders full of ideas and uh, you know half finished songs or finished songs that we've you know got to get around to recording or you know there's um yeah so we've got a lot of material to work through so it's good. And are you the kind of guys that will go back to stuff even though they might not make this album maybe will you revisit and potentially yeah about yeah it, it's about how they fit so for example, the stuff that's coming out on the Apocalyptic Witchcraft release, uh, there's a track on there that we didn't feel quite fitted with the the new album. Yeah. So we thought, well, we want it out there, so let's yeah. let's get it out because it's a great song. So yeah, sometimes we will revisit stuff and think this needs to sit with this because a lot of our stuff is themed. So. Um, the Great Mortality was a concept album that's based in sort of like the Middle Ages around the Black Death. So the new album will have a theme. The release that's coming out on Apocalyptic Witchcraft has a theme. So yeah, everything has to fit yeah, exactly. within that. Yeah. The overall picture sort of thing, yeah. So what's next after this weekend then? Have you got any more sort of live shows lined up? We've got a few to uh, for the end of the year. So we've got Mammoth Fest in October, which will be great. That's with uh, Rotten Christ, Rotten Christ and uh, Suda. Um, we've got uh, yeah, Warhorns with is it Skyforger playing that? I think don't quote me on that. But yeah, we've got Warhorns in York. 
Um, I'm playing a show with uh, Hikate in Thrones uh, yeah. in Manchester that's in September. Right? Yeah, that's a benefit show for a, a friend of ours actually that passed away. So um, he, the, the, the promoters assembled loads of black metal bands that this guy loved, and we're just all going to play this in, in tribute to him. So, yes, yeah, so so we've got a few shows. A yeah, yeah, just a one day show for, for that. So. Very busy times then at the minute, isn't it? Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Exciting times. Yeah. You know. Which is where Bloodstock again is one of those sort of things that's a huge exposure. Yeah. You know, even for the yourselves playing the Sophie, but perhaps even more so for guys on the new blood stage. Well, it? even with the Sophie stage, it's a fantastic experience for bands because you think you're playing to an entirely different crowd. When you play a smaller show, you're going to get people that are into that style come to the shows. Whereas with the Sophie stage, people will just walk in, they'll have a listen, and that's how you you get new fans. And so it's perfect for us, you know. If it, however many that tent holds, like I don't know, two, three thousand, maybe more. That's a perfect opportunity to reach a new follower. You know, perfect. If you get 30, 40 percent of them on board, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, exactly. Well, just uh, so to follow developments with the band and the, and the new material coming out, I guess social media pages and that yeah. sort of stuff. We're on the usuals, you know. We're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, Facebook. Oh, yes. Everyone uses that. So yeah, our music, gone, though, yeah, exactly. Uh, our music's available on uh, iTunes, Spotify, Bandcamp. It's, it's everywhere. So if people want to find us, they'll find us. Well, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys, and uh, congratulations Thank on you. last night and all the best. Excellent. Thank you.